Hi guys, just going to run over the revolve tool. So we're going to start a new part. So up here in your create tab, you've got extrude, so you can check my other video out for that. And we've got revolve. So these are the kind of the two ways you get your 3D geometry in the most basic forms. So both of these need a sketch. So we're going to do a 2D sketch just here. I'm going to select the XY plane, which allows me to start sketching. Now, a, an extrude needs what's called a profile. So for example, let's draw a rectangle. Now that is all that's required for an extrude. However, we want to do a revolve. What a revolve also needs is actually a center line or an axis. So I'm going to draw a line and just draw that just here. And then I'm going to go finish sketch. So if I hit revolve now, what it will actually ask you for is a profile, which is this. So the enclosed shape and an axis. So if I now click the axis, what you'll see is it will spin that shape all the way around that axis until we get 3D geometry. So that's the operation we're going to do. And then what you can do is just hit OK. So you can see that is what you would get if you did a revolve versus this if you did an extrude. So it's two different ways of creating geometry. I'm going to go back into this sketch, so I've double clicked it, and show you the correct way of doing a revolve. So we've got our profile here. Of course, we should dimension that. So let's just press D for dimension or click just up here. I'm going to add in some dimensions. <clears throat> now, what's very important in Inventors, if you're doing everything correctly, this center line here, you will actually change the format of it. So if I click the line, I can go up here and you'll see here that there's center line. If I click this, you'll see this line changes to dash dot dash dot. So what I've done is I've told Inventor this is actually a center line. So now, for example, if I do a dimension from here to here, rather than giving me the distance, it will actually give me a diameter because I've told the computer this is a center line. So of course, this must be a diameter. So for example, if I say that is 12, you'll see the dimension actually goes to over here which when we revolve this will be the other side of this center hole. Now another really cool feature of Inventor is because I've told it that's the axis and there's only one profile in view, if I hit revolve, it automatically picks up the profile and it automatically picks up the axis. Now a couple of the um, options in here are grayed out because we didn't have any geometry to cut away from. That's the same as extrude and I'll go through that in a second. The other option we have is we can either do it in full, which is 360 all the way around, or we could say I actually just want it to be an angle of 90 degrees or 180 degrees or 270 degrees or something like that. Normally you'll be using full, I imagine, because it'll be the start process. And when you're happy with that, you simply press OK uh, and that's your revolve done. Now what we can also do with uh, revolve is we can use it to cut. So I'm going to go back to my XY plane and do another sketch and I'm just going to click line go in here and just basically draw a very simple groove I'm going to join that up so that becomes a closed profile now if I hit finish sketch and just rotate that around slightly if I press revolve it will pick up that profile automatically now it's saying I need an axis remember earlier we created an axis in a 2D sketch you don't need to use a 2D sketch, you could actually use the axis that already exists, which is, say, for example, this y-axis. And that's also happy to do that. Now, if I just press OK now, the default is to add geometry, so we've added this kind of extra part here. If I now right-click in my browser and edit feature and change it to cut, you'll see that it will then remove material when I press OK and will be left with this groove. So it works exactly the same as extrude, you can add material, you can remove material, you can even do an intersect, which means that it will delete all the other geometry except where those two geometries meet and then we're left with what was left. So kind of the internal part of that groove. So that shows you how to add material, cut material and intersect material using the revolve tool. If you have any questions please leave a comment.